Uh, we started with having a facility that was for our special ed staff, but we were able to expand on that. The intent was to be able to create a purpose of jobs and really touch on innovation. It's exciting. And that's our opportunity to be able to look at that and ask students what is it that they want to do, not just deciding that's what they're going to do. Going to job sites to, to have to do a job was like, when I went to HB, um, I would do a lot, just put groceries inside the bag, make sure they don't rip. Because this is a nice place and I would like to learn a lot more. And I'm happy to see everybody. I think the really exciting thing about Burleson is really looking at the change in the way that we service students with regard to transition. Here, I feel like we're really able to tap into student experiences and what's meaningful to students and really look at those details in our kids and what would be perfect in lining up for them. So if a student's working in the print shop, they're really using a set of skills that they would then be able to take and work in a print shop, maybe in the community or around the area. The bike shop that's currently set up, um, we would like, the ultimate end goal for that space is to really create a full service functioning bike shop on the west side of San Antonio um, and actually paid employment to our students. So really teaching our students a set of skills while providing a service to the community. The print shop, you have to make the, the, the order and the t-shirt. You just make the vinyl and make the, and you put in the machine. To learn on my job skills, working with the job coaches and teaching me new things I never thought I would be taught. To help me communicate because I usually I don't communicate as much and I've seen myself communicate more. Market days are for sure fun times so it's really a district-wide um, positive behavior support intervention that we've developed here. Um, so when they come and shop in the boutique our 18 plus students are actually then running it. Sensory room is another space that was developed um, by our staff which allows students a calming um, effect so it's set up with lights, um, really soothing sounds, there is also the um, sensory garden. Usually it's a science-based lesson, just re really utilizing our outdoor space to engage students in ways that they typically don't have access to at their campus. Or one of the goals that we, we try to really establish is the empowerment of our students for the community, but for their families as well. And that just because a, a child may have a disability doesn't affect their ability. Uh, the ability level that they may have to, to earn a paycheck, earn employment, but at the same time have that self-independence to be that independent adult. We're able to explore and really provide a facility and a space for all of San Antonio that showcases our district, but most importantly, our students.